Okay, um, tough, hard-fought game. Give Michigan State credit. I, I thought they made it very difficult for us to score throughout the game, but particularly there in the second half uh, <clears throat> with their defense and their physicality. So credit them for the win here. We've got uh, another quick turnaround here for a uh, game on Wednesday. Chris, in, in the second half, what were you trying to do to get things rolling? Because obviously it was a bit of a slog. Um, you know, we tried a variety of things. Um, you know, tried uh, playing playing uh, through the post, tried playing through Caleb, tried playing through uh, Andre a few times. Um, you know, we, uh, outside of a couple actions, we ran out of timeouts. We didn't have a whole lot of luck. Chris, over here to your left, sir. Can you talk about Kenny Goins? He's a difficult guy to kind of scour or plan for, but he's kind of the glue of this Michigan State team. Would you uh, I think he's terrific. I don't know if he's a difficult guy to, to scout, but he's a terrific player. I think he's really undervalued. Um, um, may, maybe not by coaches, but maybe maybe publicly, I think he's really undervalued. Um, it's incredible he was a walk-on, I guess, at some point. Uh, it's a pretty special walk-on there. Chris, Chris you guys if, getting, if 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 someone told you that you would hold Winston to three of fifteen shooting and keep Ward down, where'd you feel you guys would be in this game? And, and what was the difference that those reserves did for Michigan State? Yeah, I thought um, you know obviously those guys were part of the game plan um, and a focus of our game plan. Um, I think our that guys did a really good job paying a lot of attention to them, but they, they've got a lot of other really good players. So I don't think we looked and said, hey, not only that, but they're a good team. I think. Uh, when you look at uh, how they play together offensively and defensively, um, you know you can take away a guy or two, and obviously Winston's really important for them. Uh, but they've got a lot of good players, and they play really well together, and they make it very difficult for you to do things as well. Chris, it seems like in the stretches this year where you guys have been good offensively, and it's the case for most teams that the ball's popping a little bit, and it didn't seem like it was moving maybe as much as you would prefer it tonight. I don't know if that is that a product that's a way to defend you or are you guys maybe a little stagnant on offense? Uh, I think at times, yeah, we could have moved it better. I think at times we looked a little bit uh, slow out there um, uh, in terms of our pace and just in terms of our the look and see if that's maybe the fatigue, but we just we did look a little slow. Chris, when you see the matchup between Caleb Weston and Nick, where we ask about this every time, how did you think that matchup went for him? And how uh, did he kind of respond to the physicality that Nick were brought in the first half? I thought he I thought he did some really good things. I, obviously, um, you know, I think I think he'll tell you, you know, five of ten, <clears throat> he wants to get where he can seven, eight of ten or you know, 8 of 12, you know, one of those kind of things. But uh, I thought he did some really good things. I thought he did some good things defending uh, on the interior. I, you know, coaches don't look at it like one-on-one -on -one matchup between two, two guys. I just thought, I thought Caleb had some really good moments. He did get fatigued tonight uh, or today, uh, more so than I, I remember him um, getting fatigued in a game. So um, we're going to have to, that's why, you know, we had to take him out on s several occasions. You struggled and had a couple of layups that were going in non second straight game. Are you, does that get contagious when a couple don't fall? Do you see that affect other guys as well? I think if you know if you're weak minded, it gets contagious. I think if you're a guy that's tough minded and, and you just say, "Hey, it was a good shot and I missed it," and it rimmed, it rimmed out, and I got I got to get another good shot next time down. So hopefully, we got a little more intestinal fortitude than that. Chris, along those lines. Um, you guys get your shot blocked more than any team in the Big Ten. It's happened maybe even a little more often in the last two games. Guys not using shot faking off. Are they, are they trying to do too much in those situations? What are you seeing? Um, you know, I I don't I think it's uh, we need we need I'd like for us to be a little bit longer, but that's not going to happen. Um, um, I think um, you know we were not great at finishing in transition, and that's where we get some of our shots blocked. Um, but I want us to continue to be aggressive. I think we can use our shot fake at times uh, more than what we do. Um, I know Caleb maybe got one or two blocked, and a couple of our other guys did. But they just got to keep. They got to keep putting themselves in good position. And I guess you, you mentioned the other day that maybe a month and a half ago you guys sort of made drastic changes on your end offensively. Just where you're at trying to find ways to score the ball is this. Is this the most difficult it's been for you in your career, and just how how frustrating is it for you that you're this point in the year, and it seems like you're still searching a little bit to, to find something. Yeah, I think um, certainly it's 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 been a challenge, but I it's it's not 
like we didn't expect that we were going to have trouble scoring this year. Um, so there was an expectation that that was going to be something. And, you know, we've just, um, I think we've got to keep taking good shots. I think you give Michigan State credit, too, for how they defended, uh, particularly in the second half, uh, but really throughout the game. But, um, you know, I'm confident that, that uh, you know, we'll be better offensively and we'll make those shots <coughs> around the rim and on the perimeter that we missed. Okay. Well, what were the huddles like as the game was progressing during the second half? Were guys still upbeat and positive and believing that these shots were going to start falling? Yeah, I think it's frustrating when you're when you're struggling to score as much as you're struggling to score. I think that's a frustrating thing for guys, uh, um, you know, because you tie so much of your stuff to your to your offense. So I think that was that was frustrating for them. But um, you know, they were they were upbeat and uh, um, you know positive. It's just it was frustrating second half, very frustrating. Last one, Bill. Uh, was CJ a rolled ankle or was he cramping? Rolled ankle. Yeah, well, he rolled his ankle, so we'll see uh, how he. Move forward. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.